Let's talk about performing moments of despair on TikTok. I'm having a stressful night. I got a thing I need to get done by uh, tomorrow evening. And it's kind of in the territory of, uh, this is gonna be a lot, this is gonna be really hard, but I'm going to be able to do it and it'll be okay. That is rationally where I understand where it is. Emotionally, what I'm feeling is, this is too much, I can't handle this, I'm not going to be okay. And one of the things that I've often done about this kind of feeling is I've gone on TikTok and I've made a TikTok where I perform that anxiety. I just express it and then I post the TikTok and now I've kind of resolved it. Like that solves the problem because what I've done is I've taken this feeling and I've given it a narrative resolution. Now the function of that feeling was not to warn me that I am doomed, it was to perform content for the internet. Like it is a solution of itself. I've like taken the feeling that I was having as a person and made it a feeling that the character of TX Watson has on TikTok. And that works great, sort of, but there's this problem um, my friends love me. I've met a lot of really wonderful people through TikTok and things I'm associated with because of TikTok. And so now there are a lot of people in my life who if I make a video about how I'm in like existential despair about an overwhelming problem I have, they reach out and ask if I'm okay and try and like accommodate me and help me uh, help change the conditions that I'm working with and uh, let me off the hook for things that are overwhelming me. And um, what they are doing is they are taking that resolved emotional experience and they are reopening it as something that the actor who plays TX Watson has to deal with. And like, it's not that the emotions are fake, it's that making content about them helps deal with them. And the thing is, it only really helps if the content is good and I feel like it's good, so it only works if I perform the affect of a character who is in crisis, because a character who has finished resolving their crisis is not a very interesting TikTok. So if, for example, what I'm saying is this project that I'm working on right now is usually the kind of thing that I just say, all right, I'm gonna break myself for a couple days. I'm gonna push myself too hard, but then it'll be okay. I'll just be broken for a few days and it'll be fine. But I just did that paying my rent and now I am already broken and need to break myself again. Um, if that's what I'm saying on the internet, um, that doesn't mean that I need the professor who's helping me work through this reach out to me and tell me it's going to be okay. I am so grateful for all of your help and I love you so much and if I make TikToks about things being wrong, it's because they're not really that wrong.